Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share how to upgrade, easily upgrade your internal SSD card from a 64 gigabyte version Steam Deck to 512. Why 512? It's because recently there, there's a sale going on right now for the Steam Deck where you could get it for 520 bucks, the 512 version, which is very, very good. But I decided to go ahead and just upgrade my 64 gigabyte version to 512. That way, it, it you know it scratches my itch for for the bigger SSD card, right? So I decided to go ahead and get this. It, I it arrived like in two days on Amazon. This is from dog. Um, it's not dog shift fish. It's a uh, game game shark. I think it's shark speed right there. See right there. That's the SSD 2230 size. And this is a 512 SSD drive. The only thing that you really need for all this process is this right here, which is going to be good to um, take the back cover off. Uh, Philip drive, the Philip drive that I'm going to be using is this size. This is a PH000. That's the proper one that you should, proper size that you should use. And of course, to flash those new software, you can either use a USB thumb drive. You know, and then, you know, hook it up here and hook it up here, then continue the process like that, the installation. But I'm going to do it, the for me, the easier way for me. I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. I'm going to go ahead and and flash a micro SD card. Oop, I dropped it. I'm just going to go ahead and flash the micro SD card with the latest software for the Steam Deck and just plug it in here. And voila, that's it. All you have to do is continue the installation. And that's it. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video. And of course, something where you can put your screws that you're going to be taking off. Make sure you have something that way you don't lose your screws or, you know, protect it uh, carefully. Also, what we're going to need, let me go ahead and turn this on. What we also going to need is a, your Steam Deck case. Why your Steam Deck case? Because since it has this portion right here, we can actually, actually use it like a workbench. So we're going to use this, right? as our workbench for the Steam Deck. That way the Steam Deck is not slipping around. Always remember to take your micro SD card off, okay? Because if you don't take it off, a lot of people have been breaking those cards because they just, uh, they forget about it and it will just destroy your card. So make sure you actually take it off. I'm gonna be taking it off the proper way, which is by ejecting. There you go, boom, ejected. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and we're going to use that later because i want to see if if the games actually transfer back to the new um, system when i do the whole process so you see here 64 gigabytes and it's already i already have like five gigabytes only left so the upgrade is going to be huge the other thing you want to make sure it's going to turn it off completely turn it off yeah completely make sure the battery life is actually around 25 percentage or lower so we got this ready here. We're gonna go ahead and start taking these screws off. We got one, two, three, four screws, and one, two, three, four longer screws. Let's take it. Okay, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the video here. That way we can make it a little bit shorter. Okay, we're with the last screw right here. There you go. We are done right now. Before I start taking this back cover off, I'm just going to show you guys, before I forget, how to actually prepare your micro SD card or your USB drive to then flash it when we're done here. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to go to the Steam Deck Recovery Instruction website. You got the Rufus Utility there we're going to use. And here, this is where you click right there. You're going to go ahead and hit Approve. Download Steam OS Disk, disk Image. So right now it's going to take a while to actually download. It's like four something minutes. So it's going to be saved right there in the download files. Let's go and wait for this to finish. So once it's done, we're going to go ahead back. Then we're going to go to the Windows Rufus option. We got another option for Mac OS, which is Balena, but we're going to use Rufus or Rufus. We're going to go down. There's a section right here that says download standard version. Make sure you actually download the latest version once you're done. It's a very small file, so it's going to finish right away, like you saw right there. Not even a five seconds download. So we're going to go ahead and hit open that. 
And we're gonna hit approved. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna put this all down. Uh, yes, we're gonna hit yes. We're gonna go lower this down, that way it looks a little bit cleaner there. So here it is, you got the SD card, which is recognized right there, right away. And what we're gonna do is the desk or uh, disk or iOS image. We're gonna hit select. And right there is gonna recognize, find the file right away, which is in the download folder. And it is selected. And that's all you have to do here. What we gotta do now is hit start. I'll agree to this. So of course, uh, warning is gonna be, um, you know, erasing everything on your micro SD card so of course make sure you don't have anything important there and we're going to wait this to finish until it's ready oh, okay so it's finishing 97 98 keep in mind you could do this right before you even get your your replacement card that way you have this ready before you get your card through the mail right image is complete wait for it to say ready okay there you go so now it is ready so we are done with this and now we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the next step okay so now that you watch how to prepare your card now we're gonna get ready to tear this apart uh, of course the screws I put them all here so they're safe I don't lose them we're gonna go ahead and start with this thing right here or you can actually use an old card if you have one that you're not using uh, just be careful man. That's this came out It's coming out pretty. I thought it was gonna be a lot more. Oops craps <laughs> Luckily we have the case protecting the the fall <laughs> Okay There you go. Wow, it came out pretty damn easy. I thought it was gonna be a lot more harder than that So there you have it. Wow. This is the first time. I'm actually looking the internals of the steam deck and Right here, what we need to do, we need to take out this screw right here. There's a screw below this foil right there. So we're gonna peel this off a little bit, but make sure you don't peel it off completely because we need to re-tape it with that. Okay, I had to actually peel it off using this right here because it was a little bit hard to actually peel that off. So you got a screw right there. You got another screw over here. You got another screw over here. Then we're gonna have to take those three screws out now. The other screw over here. And we have a third screw right there, which is right, oop. Oh man. There you go. <laughs> Careful taking off the screws. And here it is. This is the thing that we're gonna use later on to cover it back again. So now that we have everything taken off, we need to disconnect the battery, which is slight. It has a plug right plugged in right there. And with if you have one of these things, it's easier to actually get it off. So there you go. Just like that came off easily right there. That's going to go plugged in again. And now that we have that off, we're going to go ahead and take the other screw that we need okay we take that out Ooh, let's go ahead and slide off the card carefully and we got the screw right here don't lose the screw and there it is we got the 64 gigabyte we're gonna take this sleeve off because we're gonna use the sleeve again with the new one so this is how the 64 gigabyte card looks that's the one inside of it and we're going to go ahead and replace it with the new one, which is over here. Wait a second. This looks a little bit different, no? Look at that. Huh. This looks a little bit different, the connection there. But that's weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird because look at this. The connection looks a little bit different there. See? And this one it's solid only one slice this one has two slices there it's the same size maybe that one came out kind of weird but look at this it fits perfect so yeah should be no problem there but of course before we actually put it together we're gonna go ahead and put the sleeve here finally we put it back there fit this one it actually fit a little bit tight on the card 
but it should be good look at that as long as you fit it like that it should perfect be perfectly good now we're gonna fit it in completely make sure it goes all the way in don't force it that's for sure don't force it and now we're gonna go ahead and put all the screws back the way it was there you go so we got that done that is good that should be good enough right there and now we're gonna go ahead and put the battery on make sure you put the battery before you arm it one thing that i forgot to tell you guys to do uh, which i don't think you really need to do it but when you unplug the battery you know go and press this a couple times you know a couple times just in case there's residual battery in the system which which there shouldn't be and that's it i forgot to do that but that's something that people been doing with the steam deck i've been working doing this with laptops and all that and i don't remember ever having to do that so yeah but we did it now so we're gonna go ahead and put it together here make sure this actually goes in completely okay battery is in now we're gonna go ahead and put all this back the way it was there you go it looks kind of scary but it's not believe me guys it's very very easy to do and uh, we got that i'm gonna put the first screw up over here because it's the one that goes below this thing we finished doing that and now we're gonna go ahead and put the rear cover back again make sure we snap it in correctly there oh hey oh, hey shouldn't have no problems there you go nothing shaking in the inside so we're we're all good and uh, start doing the same thing all over again put back remember to put the long long screws where you took them out from the long screws on the outer side short screws in the inside i'm surprised how easy this was i'm surprised how easy this really really was and take this out and we have it done so let's go ahead and start with the installation we flash the software here to this card so we're gonna plug it in there but of course if you use a USB-C if you use one of these thumb drive you put it in one of these connectors you can also hook it up there but this is how I'm, I'm gonna do it okay so right now we're gonna go ahead and press the down button and the power button until we hear a little sound there you go release leave this on these pressed let's see da -da. we need to see the okay so you go so this came up it took like almost 10 seconds for that to come up and we're gonna go ahead and choose this right here this first option which is the only option right there okay so i loaded up here it took a couple almost like almost a minute there so here we have a couple i think this oh yes this still works so here we got clear block local user re image steam deck uh reinstall steam os terminal so we can go ahead re-image click right there up oh. hit that we got the option that says this uh, cannot be undone you sh should proceed only if you wish to clear and re-image device proceed okay so right now it's gonna keep on doing its thing right now it's doing its thing right now but one thing that i always recommend that i don't like doing is flashing an operating system or a system or doing an update like this and not having enough power that's something that i do not like to do and i see some youtubers just not and you know not plugging it in when you're doing this and that's a little bit dangerous because you're flashing you know this is a re-imaging the system and to begin with when we started doing this it was the battery was very low so you know i recommend to always plug it in if you're actually using your micro sd card i guess if you use your flash drive connected there you won't be able to plug it in but this is the advantage of using the micro sd card flashing it that way and that way you can have it plugged in as well 
and it just makes it safer because you never know how long this can take and if it can cause any damage by being low 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 battery life okay so let's go ahead and wait for this to finish oh yeah there you have it look at that it already finished now we are like setting a new device english that didn't take long at all we got mountain time which i live here and i'm gonna go ahead and choose my email install again everything finally it finished installing the operating system or re-imaging it we already did the ssd drive so everything should be good now it took a while to actually install um, all the updates because uh, once I started installing it right I was so starving I went to eat left the charging and installing when I came back it was still locked at it was stuck at the installation so what I did because that's not normal that's too long I went back again where you choose your language then you choose your location and you choose your Wi-Fi I re-entered my Wi-Fi I started again and then it finished it took like almost like 20 minutes after I did that. So here we are with the thing loaded up. Let's go and get out of here, just like you would a new one. So here, let's go ahead to settings. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go to storage. Oh, look at that. 460 gigabytes free. So you don't really get the full 512. We already knew that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my normal ssd drive that was here which is a 512 see what happens okay we got that there we can see the games here okay that's good now can we actually load them i wonder if we can actually load them so let me go ahead and see this game can i load it up okay so yes so there you go so it's downloading content but yes, I guess you can reload the games from the card, even though you're basically re-imaging the whole system. Like you see that is downloading the content. This content usually goes to the internal SSD. And so since it's not there, it's installing it again. Like it was like you're downloading the game for the first time ever. So that's why it's actually taking a while. Look at that. See, it's still installing stuff. There you go. We're gonna get that screen there you go look at that tam 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 loading so that's good so we got that that's loading look at that it's already ready to play that's awesome let's go ahead and quit that let's go ahead and quit that the other thing that i wanted to see also of course we can we have an update we have to do here and okay we can also see it's already installing things in the internal so we can also move, like if I want to move, uh, let's say I want to move uh, Hi-Fi Rush, move content, Y, and I can move it to the internal, move. So yeah, you can also move your games from the microSD card to the internal. And the cool thing is that yes, you can still use the card, even after re-imaging the system, the games are still gonna be in the card and you will be able to still play those games. You don't have to download the whole thing. It's going to download some of the extra stuff that it needs, like the shaders and all that. That's normal. That's like happens to every game you install here on this device. Other than that, I can't complain. Let me know in the comments, of course, what you think about this process. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.